welcome again to another episode of Chi TV. And today is another video for our Paano Kumita series. So today we're gonna talk about Paano Kumita sa Pagkukwento. And we have a special guest today and his name is Ronster by Tiong. So let's call him in so that he can introduce himself and his company. Okay, hi Ron. Thank you for I, thank you for gracing us with your presence. Anything I, for you, Mami Jean. How can salamat, I you? Salamat. Salamat. Alam kung napaka busy mong person. So you I I know that you're doing a lot of things. So maybe yeah, take us through like what, what what's up? Like how have you been? Oh, it's been a rough year. Uh so I literally just uh, broke my ankle three almost three months ago. Oh, so wow. I couldn't put any weight on my right leg, and good, mm-hmm. good thing it, it was a bike accident. It was a oh, rainy no. ride. I slipped, broke my fibula. I couldn't put any weight uh, on that thing for a good ten weeks. Oh no! And then, yeah, just okay. just massive muscle atrophy. So I'm still limping a little bit, but I'm just glad that mm-hmm. I am back walking. But it, during that time, if there's one thing that I'm very grateful for. I'm still able to podcast. Yes. Thing, it's not my mouth. Like, I got to imagine <laughs> how will I be able to work without my mouth? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, still podcasting. Podcasting is, has exponentially grown, though we kind of kind of took a different path in Podcast Network Asia. We're now uh, focusing mm-hmm. more on uh, the SaaS platform that we use, which is called Pod Machine, because we realized that, again, um, if there's one thing that we're really good at, our superpower mm-hmm. is creating podcasts at scale okay I'll I'll about, that to you later. Yeah. yeah you know what i i've been interested to learn more about that talaga. um mm-hmm. me and my friend like francis we've been thinking of what if nga, mag- 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 ano tayo? let's put up like i don't know like let's create podcasts mm. ba? like para, how do you say it? <laughs> let's yeah. create yeah uh, let's yeah start a podcast That's yeah the there that's how, how you, say you start it. a podcast right? start a podcast so there so maybe yeah you mentioned um podcast network asia and i know mm-hmm. this this is your business so can mm-hmm. you like share um how you started this business and how it's actually it- a part of this story right so uh i don't know if you remember Around 2019, I started podcasting, right? Uh, because I wanted to highlight my friends' uh, journeys um, in, in the startup ecosystem. And I felt like there's two things that I can marry. I love talking and I always wanted to be on radio. I didn't never got an opportunity to do that. So I said, all right, I'll marry the two. I'll create a podcast. During that process of creating a podcast, technically, I realized that the podcasting ecosystem here in the Philippines, at least, resembled how the startup ecosystem was. So we created Podcast Network Asia. It's sort of like a like an idea space or a kubo, but for podcasting, right? And the reason you're a part of this is because you did a, a boot camp pre-PNA. It wasn't even existing yet. Uh, talk about podcasting and whatnot. So you already knew that this was going to eventually blow up. But we felt like that was an opportunity for us because I was a podcaster myself already back then. Yeah, And if there's one thing that we can really help, it's really uplift the whole community in several fronts. So several factors. First off was we wanted to help podcasters produce uh, their shows. Um, number two, we wanted mm-hmm. to help them monetize. And number three, we wanted to help them grow their show. Like yeah, That was uh, the whole objective. Uh, we were naive. We thought it was going to be that easy. It wasn't. It's very, very hard to do. Um, mm-hmm. But we're ready here. Long story short, we got it done. Um, we went from around five shows. So I think we, as, as of this recording, we have around 355 podcasts. Wow. May space pa <laughs> Ron, yeah. Well, I, that's the that's yeah, that. answer. Yes and no. Because mm-hmm. before, if you had talked to me like 12 months ago, my answer would probably be no. Because mm-hmm. um, the problem we had back then okay. was we were footing the bill to produce the show. Oh, and wow. if you're making libre, libre everybody, mm-hmm. eventually it's going to be too expensive. Oh, yes. Right? And mm-hmm. if our only way to make money back then was to help you monetize, mm-hmm. and advertising and podcasts aren't mainstream yet, we're mm-hmm. going to die. True. Uh-uh. So we had to find a way, all right, how do we keep the, sh- the lights on? How do we keep the show going so that all these shows that we're supporting do not die? 
Because a okay. lot of these shows that we're supporting, if we cease to exist, they will also cease to record. So yes. it's a shame. Because exactly. these are shows that are already part of daily lives of millions of Filipinos. Right? Mm -hmm. So that was the bare commitment. We had to find a way to survive because if not, we're, we're also going to die. Right? Okay. We're back to the dark ages again. So one thing that we realized at that point was we, there were, we already had around 230 shows. Okay. At that point. It's like, okay, if we're able to sustain 230 shows, this is something that we can tweak, optimize, and automate. Exactly. Okay. And we technically productize our production capabilities, uh, automated a lot of stuff, called it pod machine. So that if mm -hmm. you ask me now, the yes. question is, can, is there a pod? If, do you want to have a podcast? Yes, let's do it. Because we've already productized it. Wow. We, before, I would say no because like, shit, I can't even. <laughs> yeah. Right? I, can't, I can't put the bill for you. I'm sorry, right? Pero, wow, 230. Huh? You got to that point. But 230 and now 350. Yeah. So in terms of like um, the, the automation aspect, what do you exactly automate? So several things. So that 230 shows, that meant we had 230 group chats. Imagine oh, wow. having 230 group chats in Messenger, Viber, and in and, and, and WhatsApp. You won't be able to talk to anyone anymore. You're just exactly. gonna, like, what are these? I can't talk to my family, my wife, whoever, right? So yeah. first things first, low-hanging fruit for those people who don't know. My second startup was a chatbot startup. Mm -mm. So we used an old trick up our sleeve, like, all right, we can automate this, create a platform. Mm. So that any request of a podcaster, you just need to go to the website called Pod Machine. We can pretty much help you 24-7. Not a problem. Wow. And then the way we edit, because before the way we edit was the way we the way everybody else edited, we had to chop the process. Because before the, the, the traditional way of editing yeah. a podcast is you edit everything end to end. An hour long episode will take you probably around four to five hours. Hours, yeah. To edit. It's not fun. Imagine if you're doing that for 230 shows. Yeah. It's expensive and it's slow. So we had to divide the process, automate the way we we transcribe the episodes first, mm -hmm. and then we then look for the filler words like the ums, the ahs, the dead air. Mm -mm. So then after that, that's when we um, that's when we master and make it sound great. Mm -hmm. But it's not yeah. one person doing that anymore. It's multiple. It's like a production line. Wow. So we're done. Boop, next. Boop, next. Boop, next. So now we're able to do this at scale. Ankaling, I love it, Ron. So, in terms of like the industry, like I know that you have like three hundred plus podcasters yeah. right now. Like, is the, how do you see like that? Is there are there any trends or how do you see the industry growing in the years to come? I know that this grew significantly. I I'm assuming during the pandemic because yes. people like uh, mm -hmm. wanted to listen to different things. Wala sila magawa sa bahay, de ba? So. Like, how do you see it now that, now that things are going back to normal? Okay, so several things. Let's just look at the consumption first. How are people consuming it? We're one of the luckiest, um, say, digital uh, platforms or digital channels, per se, mm -mm. because we're on demand. It okay. doesn't require your full attention, attention to create a podcast. Mm -mm. And the way people consume it is very intentional. So pre-pandemic, our best friend was traffic. Okay. So stuck in traffic, you have, you're going to drive, you're going to listen to a podcast. Yeah. You cannot watch a YouTube video while driving. Mm -mm. Now that's back, right? The yeah. only difference is during the pandemic, there was so much more intentional consumption and content creation that happened that now as we go back, mm -mm. we're just going back to our best friend, traffic, right? Like oh, yeah. Stuck in traffic. And then again, it still doesn't require your full attention, mm -mm. but the big difference is what happened during the pandemic. There was mm -hmm. so much more awareness over podcasts because of this, uh, the, the type of content that was mm -hmm. created. So there was a big boom oh. in the creation of content. In 2019, when, I, when we were doing the boot camp that you guys were yes. doing, only 20% of the top 200 podcasts in the Philippines were Filipino-made. So there wasn't enough supply. Yeah. Over the past three years, we're literally now around 65% of the top Wow. are Filipino-made. Wow. So here's okay. the caveat. 35% of the top 200 podcasts are made by us. So we combined everybody else. The whole thing, technically, the, the one that matters. Oh, wow. 
Wow, I love it. Congratulations. Ah. Ang laki na ng, ang laki ng uh, improvement and ang dami mong taong tinutulungan, Lady Ron. And I'm diba? and I'm sure like um some people who are watching this would want to know, syempre yung title ng series is Paano Kumita. Paano ka ba kumikita as a podcaster? Okay, there's several ways, but let me just set the right expectations. There's mm-hmm. not a lot of money in here yet. Mm-hmm. And if there are, it's only the top most. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll always start with any type of content that you create. You start with your why. Why are you going to create your show? Okay. Several patterns that I typically do before we even talk monetization. Yeah. Is why. Number one, um, is it because you want to be popular? Do you want to build clout? Do you want to be a key opi- opinion leader? Mm-hmm. The, the monetization you're going to get there is not directly through the podcast, but it's because of your say, the expertise that you're going to build. Like for yeah. me, when I started out podcasting, yes, people knew me as the founder. People didn't know me as a content creator or a mm-hmm. podcast. Now I probably am, hopefully I am, the mm-hmm. startup podcast guy. Yes. When you talk about that, I have four years worth of content, more or less, that documented all the legit founders here. The second thing that you can do, and again, this is indirect, huh, mm-hmm. is this is a great networking tool. Mm-hmm. My network grew exponentially because of my podcast, Hustle Share, because of all the founders that I've now met and I've built a great connection with because I've had them guest on my show. In the very first probably 10, 20 shows or 30 Mm -hmm. uh, episodes that I've had, everything was me. Everyone was guested because of me chasing them. Yeah. After that, Mm -hmm. it became the complete opposite. Everybody started approaching. So network effects came in. Mm-mm. And then, as more people get to know you, Mm-mm. what comes next? The opportunities, the monetization that, that comes after, Mm-mm. then grows tenfold. Right? Yeah. So again, it might not be direct advertising or whatever, but the opportunities someone that you get. Yeah. And the, again, networks. You know how networking is yeah. important. But you're hitting two birds in one stone. You're creating content and building great networks at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Because you're making people look and sound good. Yes. So you're, you're doing that for me. I sound good in this podcast or, or, or yeah. in this vlog. Yeah. That and lastly, the direct one. Okay. Mm-hmm. As you build an audience or, mm-hmm. or a community, that's when you start monetizing. But again, that takes time. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to come in and say, oh, I'm going to freaking monetize like a YouTuber. Yeah. That's not, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Okay. okay. There's no silver play button waiting for you here. There's mm-hmm. no gold play button. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Right? But if you look at it from the network effects of what it can bring you, you know, you this is something that uh, you can do for a long time, provided that if you're going to start this, you have to commit that you can do this for a very, very long time. I, I actually ask this mm-hmm. question for every um, aspiring podcaster. Yeah. What, topic that you think you can talk about for the next 10 years that you're never gonna tire, get tired of talking about? Oh, alam mo, yeah, that's, that's so true, no? Parang, in terms of, like, creating content, what I've seen is, like, successful content creators are very consistent yeah. with what they're doing. So, parang, you can't do this and record, let's say, even 10, 20, or even 100 videos without, like, uh, ano eh, no? parang talagang dapat yung end game is really, yeah, tama ka eh, mga 10 years at least, no? And and you have to be clear on your why. So I love that you brought up na it's not the only thing, no, that you get from podcasting na, na, monet- na monetize mo or you get, uh, you get income from it. You also get opportunities, you get to meet oh, wow. new people, you get to learn from the other people who guest in your podcast probably. No, so I love that. So in terms of as again, so now if you have people who are listening and gusto na talaga nila mag podcast, like in terms of of equipment, mahal ba? Ano ba yung mga dapat bibilhin or ano ba yung what do you suggest that we start with? Okay, so if, if you're going the podcast, or I'm a little bit of a purist, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're gonna go podcast, you really have to sound good because when you create oh. a podcast, the main medium ideally should be audio first. So you need to invest in a decent mic, not an expensive mic. So you want to invest in an uh, yeah. XLR or a USB mic. So XLR technically is what you can put in a mixer. That's just basically a, a cable or a USB so you can plug it into uh, a computer. Same way we're doing it now so you can do a Zoom interview. 
Okay. There's uh my my the, the go to one that I like is the Audio Technica 2005, um, oh. because that's USB mm -mm. and XLR and it's portable. You can do it wherever you want, right? Uh, nice. And bring it wherever you want, and it sounds good. And also, you have to invest. There's two types of mics. There's condensers and dynamic. Mm -hmm. So a condenser technically is those ones that you see that mm -hmm. uh, music or again the gamers use the circular ones. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. If you're in a very silent environment, because that picks everything in a 360 environment on that one. Okay. If you have a crying baby, you have a dog, you have a cat, that will pick that up too. Right? Yeah. Whereas if like your traditional uh, dynamic, mm -hmm. like the ones that you use in karaoke, the one that it only picks up is the one in front of your mouth. Mm -hmm. so if you have a lot of ambient noise, that gets canceled out. Right, it. and it's rare that you get to a place, especially if you're coding remotely, that you have no, you're just absolute silence. You only get that in the studio, right? Yeah. You don't need to have a studio to create great content in podcast. So, if you're gonna create a podcast, invest mm -hmm. in a decent mic that will make you sound great. Because if yeah. you don't sound great, I don't care whatever you're saying. But if you sound like you're a tin can, if you sound like you're in the bathroom, if you can't even hear you. You're gonna lose. Nobody's gonna listen, unfortunately. Yeah. So in terms of the studio, I remember. Did do you guys have a studio that they can use? Yes. So we are mm -hmm. opening up a new studio around early December. So I don't know what when this is gonna come. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be in Tiendecitas at the third floor. Uh, no, Silver City near Tiendecitas. Oh. Uh, that again, we will start opening up if it's not being used. Uh, people can rent uh, rent it out. Nice. Um, World class podcast recordings assisted wow. by my uh, world class team uh, to get that done. <laughs> Ang galing naman Roy, nasa lume level up na talaga. So, but that's really nice kasi syempre uh, for Filipino talents, no, we want to be at par or even better, diba, than than other podcasters globally. So, in in terms of okay, so in terms of the space, diba, we were discussing the space a while ago. Like, is there a, a particular niche that hasn't been addressed yet, or um, there's still you see that there's still a lack of podcasters for a certain topic? Okay, so here's the thing: we need to look at podcasting. It's not like it's zero sum. Mm. Okay, yeah. meaning it's not binary. Just because somebody's talking about mental health doesn't mean you that can't. You, you can't, mm -mm. right? So there's always room. But if you look at the sheer numbers, there's around probably only uh, less than 100,000 podcasters in the Philippines. Mm -mm. Compare that to the YouTubers. Good luck, right? Yeah. You're not going to get discovered anyway at all because, again, the, the sheer number of co competition that you have for people's attention is so much, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then here's the thing too. Um, there's this thing called pod fading. Oh, so this is what we're. That? This is the real problem that we're trying to solve, and that's why we created again pod machine so that you nobody need, you don't have to edit it yourself. Mm -hmm. Pod fading is basically podcasters that eventually just stop because oh. again, ninety five percent of podcasters are doing this as a side hustle. Mm -hmm. And majority of the time, the reason why they 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 stop doing content is because yeah. it's so hard to edit. Uh, it's so time okay. consuming. So there's a number. The magic number is most podcasts that uh, pod paid don't make it past ten episodes. Oh, wow! Talaga. It's dead, right? Uh -oh. When when you don't make it past episode, then you pod paid it. Uh -oh. Sayang, you already put in yeah. ten weeks worth of content, right? And then you and stop. You just, Yes, yeah. then you know you're back to zero. Um, there's also people like to take season breaks. Um, mm -hmm. I've seen this happen, and majority of the time when you do season breaks, it it becomes detrimental. A season yeah. break that's beyond one month is is basically telling your listeners I won't you don't come care back. anymore, yeah. oh. and it's yeah. done. So yeah. it's sayang, right? So mm -mm. for us again, we wanted to help out uh, uh, those content creators so that they can easily just keep creating content, make bankroll, so that even if they're mm -hmm. doing a side hustle, mm -hmm. say on a Saturday, similar to what we're doing that when we're recording now, this is an easy conversation and out of sight, out of mind. That's true. Yeah. Ito pa. So, isa sa mga, I think, 
uh, barriers no para sa mga Pilipino. Hindi naman kasi ako Ron Inglesero or Inglesera. <laughs> Hindi, di ba? Tagalog lang alam ko, nakakahiya naman kasi pag sinabi mo ang podcasting parang para sa mga social eh, di ba? So is that still the case? Absolutely not. <laughs> the most successful podcasts here in the Philippines are actually done in Tagalog and in the most neutral voice. That they okay. have. Again, you can, if, if you're a little insecure about mm-hmm. how you sound, that's what you need is not uh, to learn how to English or how, oh. how to speak English, right? Yeah. It's learn how to be confident. Uh-huh. It doesn't matter how mm-hmm. you're, what, what language you speak, it's how you enunciate and you pronounce your words. And if, yeah. you, if, 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 if you can actually carry a whole train of thought consistently, Mm-mm. right? Um, yes. The more natural you are, the better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Yeah. And if you, again, if you you can you can always upskill yourself in how you you sound, but the one thing that you need there is repetition and time. Yeah. You can't be perfect from the get go. You know, at the end of the day, you have to record it or record yourself with a mic. If you don't mm-hmm. like what you're hearing, try again. The beauty about podcasts mm-hmm. this is it's not live. No, okay. guy, hindi ka nakikita. And you can be bulol all you want. Me, I am bulol all the time, right? I always, but at the end of the day, when the people, when people hear the final yes. product, it's different. like I am perfect because I, I already know. cut out all the, <laughs> all the bulol takes that I did. Right, so. Ayan. So kung natatakot kayo guys sa mga nanonood, okay lang na edit naman, di ba? Yes. And again, there's no video so they will never find out if you're really bulol, right? <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. Okay, so any other practical tips that you can share sa ating mga podcaster uh, friends so, na gusto you'll, you'll, you'll find this start. weird because I hmm. literally just stole this from the startup ecosystem. Hmm. You need to create your MVP. Oh, wow. Okay. Your MVP is your minimum viable Bubble podcast. Press. I podcast. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, why? Because your initial thought of how you think your podcast will be will still evolve. Mm-mm. Okay? So Mm-mm. create, I don't know, three episodes or at least six episodes. Put mm-hmm. it out. Not And don't be disheartened by what you see. But look at the metrics. The, the, the one metric that matters in podcasting is not the amount of listeners that you have. Yes, that's important. Of course, that, that's your audience size. But mm-hmm. the most important thing is retention. Are people listening from zero, zero to whatever, I don't know, one hour? Did they listen to your whole app? Okay. That, okay. that will be your determinant over do people actually care about what you're saying? Say, for example, at started a start of five minutes, you started talking about mental health. And people didn't think that you were the right person about mental or you lost your train of thought and they started yeah. dropping okay. then you can easily look back like what the hell did i say at five minutes why mm-hmm. did people stop caring mm-hmm. and then do your again copying this from startup ecosystem <laughs> make your pivots at yeah. that time like ah, okay when i started doing this people didn't care so maybe i'll try something different the most important thing is you per- you always make changes until you find traction Okay. Right? That, yeah. Okay. People are staying. I'm growing my audience. Now I can keep growing this thing. Mm-hmm. So people, they're like, oh, nobody cared. People drop. They stop. Yeah. That's, actually, that's actually just when it gets fun because now you're just literally just building an audience. Mm-hmm. You have to iterate a little bit uh, a couple times until you find that sweet spot of how you think you should sound. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a meeting of two things. It's how you want to deliver your content. Yeah. And how your your consumers or your listeners want to consume your show. So more in the middle is the answer. Okay. All right. So, yeah. so um, in terms of magkano yung kikitain, no? so mm. I, I'm sure you mentioned like there are the, the top ones are earning. No? So how much would this probably be? Just just for inspiration. Let's just do best case scenario. You mm-hmm. become, let's say, a Spotify exclusive. Um. Mm-hmm. Let's give a range. Yeah. But the Spotify exclusives here more or less earn around twenty thousand dollars per year to be Spotify oh, wow. exclusive. That's around a okay. million pesos. Okay. Just to be Spotify exclusive, and then ads. Again, the ads come mm-hmm. and go. Uh, yeah. That's our biggest uh, thing right now. Um, mm-hmm. In it's so hard to get decent or consistent ad revenue, but yeah. if you in a good campaign, you're probably net around. 
thousand dollars, around a hundred k pesos, more or less. For yeah. That. But for, for context, bad. your Reddit, your download play should probably hover around five thousand to ten thousand downloads at that level. Na. Ah, so more five thousand. Yes. When you say sorry, when you say Spotify exclusive, I'm not too familiar with how that works. Like, how does that work? So Spotify technically likes to pick some shows Mm-mm. that they think would be a great content or, or audience driver for their app. Mm. And when they do that, they want to make sure that this content is exclusively available on Spotify. Mm. To make that happen, they rent your show or they license your show to be, um, to be a part of your, uh, to be exclusively found on Spotify. It's still your content. Got it. Okay, so yeah. So how can Podcast Network Asia help me if I want to get started? How do I contact you? And what's the like? How do we? How do we both earn? I suppose. Yes. So for us again, uh, going back to our original story, we may we don't want to say no anymore, right? Because there's so many people that we said no to just yeah. because we were footing the bill. Okay. Now we made it so cheap for people to really need help and get our secret sauce on how we make podcasts uh, successful. We productize everything that we do. It's called podmachine.com. So you just go to podmachine.com. My whole team is technically there. Uh, create an account if, you want, if, you're, if you're skeptical, if we can really help and edit your show. There's a free trial. We, we like to bet on ourselves and show you. Uh, say you have a recording, we'll give it to you. Okay, give it to us for free. We'll, we'll edit it in one episode. For one episode, and then the cheapest plan that you can get is uh, mm-hmm. uh, five thousand pesos for four episodes. Oh, not bad. Yeah, de ba? Kasi like parang you spend time also editing, and then you stop the naman eventually. You get your time back technically. Yeah, that's so amazing. So yeah, we'll share the links on yep, the in the show. Account. Yeah, in the show notes uh, below. So, any any last steps and advice, uh, Ron, before we end this? Again, uh, ask your why. Um, don't ideally just don't do it for the clout. Um, um, the people listen to podcasts not to not just to be entertained, but to learn. That's the primary reason why. Um, so when you create this, there's so much more space. There's so many mo- much more voices and communities that need to be represented. And we can't wait to see you guys again. It's it's not zero sum. There's no ABS GMA yeah. kind of thing. We're we're all a part of your, this big community. And our, our goal is to make a vibrant and long-lasting podcasting ecosystem that's here to stay for a long time. Thank you so much, Ron. Thank you thank for you, your tips. Yes. I'll and see you soon. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. So, Ian, thank you so much, Ron, for sharing so much knowledge and information with us today and i hope marami kayong natutunan natutunan from runster so um again this episode is brought to you by globe business chat genie and m360 so with chat genie you can manage all transactions across different channels in one platform creating a hassle-free buying experience for your customers and with m360 you can engage your customers better with multi-channel messaging customizable sender id sms pulse and two-way messaging so learn more about globe businesses other products by visiting www.globe.com.ph slash business slash SMEs. So yes, yeah, so that's it for today. If you like this video, please click on like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell for more videos like this. So again, thank you so much for watching this new episode of Paano Komita, and I hope to see you soon again. Bye!